cool, creamy, minty, and chocolatey. Grasshopper pie is a retro dessert that's making a comeback, as it should, because it's so easy to make with only six ingredients and there's no baking involved. I've seen so many recipes for this pie that have all these fussy steps like blooming gelatin and tempering egg yolks, but you won't have to do any of that here. This is practically foolproof, so without further delay, let's make a grasshopper pie. We're going to begin by making a crust, and for that we need 24 Oreos. You can use plain Oreos if that's what you have, but if you can find the mint ones, they're going to work way better. I'm going to use both kinds today, so 12 plain and 12 mint, and I'm going to add them to a food processor. Now some of the recipes said to remove the cream from the cookies before doing this, and then they don't say anything about using the cream, which I think is kind of weird and a bit of a waste. But you want to grind these on high speed until you get fine crumbs. You don't want any big chunks left. And this can be a crust for all kinds of different chocolate desserts. So I'm going to dump these crumbs into a bowl and add 4 tablespoons of melted butter. Just mix this together until it's nicely combined. It should almost look like wet sand. And if you've ever made a cheesecake before, then you're probably familiar with this step. This is exactly how you make a graham cracker crust. Now I'm going to dump this into a 9 inch pie plate and press it down with a spoon. So I'm going to start with the bottom and then start working towards the sides. Just build it up the best you can and you want to press down quite firmly because we're not going to be baking this at all. So once your crust looks something like this, just set it aside and now we're going to make the filling. So to a saucepan, I'm going to add half a cup of milk and 40 large marshmallows. You can use mini marshmallows for this. You're going to need at least three and a half cups. You can also use that marshmallow cream. Whatever you use for your marshmallows, you're going to need 250 grams. So I'm going to add this to the pan, which I know looks a little too small right now, but these marshmallows are going to melt, so I'm not going to sweat it. So go ahead and melt this mixture until it's nice and smooth, and the heat's on medium-low, and you want to stir it frequently, just from time to time, just to make sure that those marshmallows aren't burning at all. So once everything's all nice and melted and smooth like this, we're going to take it off the heat, and now we're going to add our mint flavoring, and we're going to be using a quarter cup of creme de mint. And yes, this is alcohol. If you don't want to use alcohol in your pie, you can substitute this with two teaspoons of peppermint extract, and of course you'll need some green food coloring. So mix that in really well, and now we have to refrigerate this for 20 minutes, and you want to stir it about two times in between. It's going to start to set up, and then we can move on with the next step, which involves whipped cream. So here I have a chilled bowl and chilled beaters, and here I have one and a half cups of whipping cream. I'm going to whip this until I have stiff peaks. Chilling your bowl and your beaters will cut your whipping time down by at least half, so if that's a step you can remember to sneak in there, I'd do it. And by the way, if you're looking for a printable recipe for this, I have one on my website, just click the link in the description below. So now that our cream is whipped to these nice stiff peaks, you don't want to have chintzy soft peaks for this guys, or your pie's not going to be any good. Now let's take a look at our marshmallow and mint mixture. This has been in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes, I've stirred it twice, and you can see that it's starting to set up. When you drop it from a spoon, it should almost be holding in mounds. Now we're gonna fold this into our whipped cream one third at a time. So I'm just gonna add a little bit here. And I find that the best thing to use for this is a balloon whisk. And you don't have to be super gentle when you do this. You can move fairly quickly. A lot of people think that you have to do this really gingerly or it's going to deflate the mixture, but if you use a balloon whisk, you're going to be pretty safe. Now, depending on how green your creme de menthe is, you might not need to add any green food coloring at all if you want a green pie. But I found that I wanted mine a little more grasshopper-like, so I added a few drops of green food coloring. And that seemed to do the trick. I think that for a grasshopper pie, this should actually be green, even though it is an optional ingredient. So that's about it for our lovely mint chiffon filling. Now we're going to pour this into that crust that we made earlier. And the thing I love about this recipe for grasshopper pie, it's really nice and generous. A lot of the recipes online seem to yield a really chintzy pie, but this one's not like that. So now just go ahead and have fun making that top all nice and swirly and peaky. And now here I have two of those mint Oreo cookies. And earlier I was supposed to reserve a quarter cup of those crumbs to sprinkle on top, but I forgot to do that, and I'm kind of glad I did because I think the crushed Oreos just look a lot better. They have more texture, and this just looks a lot more appetizing. And there we have it guys, our grasshopper pie is ready. Almost. Now we have to chill it for 4 hours. Or some people like to freeze their grasshopper pie and serve it more as an ice cream pie, but I don't like to do that. 
I like the moussey soft texture of serving it just chilled. But look at how pretty that pie is. How good would this be for St. Patrick's Day or Easter, any birthday or any day? It's just so cool looking. There's something about colorful food that's always intriguing. And if you play with different flavorings, you can use that marshmallow and milk mixture as a base for any type of cream pie like this that you want to make. So try using a little bit of coffee liqueur maybe instead of the creme de menthe or maybe a little Bailey's. Turn around and make this pie your very own masterpiece. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then let me know by clicking that like button. And if you like other recipes like the one you saw today, you might even consider hitting that subscribe button, but no pressure. And for another amazingly easy, tasty dessert recipe, check out the video you see right here.